Hey everybody, today we a preview of prototype of USC Reach. But before we begin, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that if I make rules goofs, you know what they are. And of course, I'm not Rado, I'm Shay Parker, helping Rado cover even more games, games like USC Reach here, where we find ourselves on starships headed to faraway lands. We're in a convoy together, but we're not working together. We are competing because we are going to different places and we want to make sure we are best set up once we get there. I've got two ships. Each of them has a deck of crew cards, and uh, this is a deck building game. So the crew cards I start off with are not very good, but we are going to be able to level them up as we go. Um, we've also got some ships, and we've got some space tiles. E this game is played through three rounds, each round uh, covering three sectors, three different locations, and we're going to put out a bunch of different missions that we can go on that are going to improve our crew, get us useful items, um, improve our facilities, and all kinds of other good stuff. And we've also got an end goal in mind. Each of us wants to go to a different place. So for example, left brain here wants to go to this exotic landing zone. And we see on the left the kind of values that we're going to need to achieve uh, at the end of the last round. So our engineering is going to need to be at seven, it's nine for our science. We want our science to be as good as possible. And then if we do this, we will be in the running for victory. If we don't manage to get this, we will lose outright. But if we do, we'll get five points. And then there are a couple extra things we can get. Uh, if we have these, we'll get a few more points as well. And at the end of the game, whoever has the most points wins, of course. Um, so... Uh, taking a look at our two ships. Oh, and by the way, our ships are a little bit different. You can kind of see in the corners of each of the different sections uh, whether or not we have, uh, you know, symbols in that specific region. So left brain is red. My red section obviously is going to be the strongest. My command bridge has three symbols. So we start off with a bit of a strength there. Versus right brain, who is on yellow, um, their crew quarters, their their operations um, work a little bit stronger, and uh, those are going to come into play as uh, as we go along. So let's take a look at the first space tile. We flip this over at the beginning of the game. We see there's just just your normal black hole, you know, just your run of the mill black hole, um, and. Uh, sometimes these tiles have danger on them, which we need to protect against, though the first tile in each round, you, you don't really count the danger anyway, so it doesn't matter. The other thing we're looking at is science here. Uh, what this science icon means is that whoever has the highest science is going to pick first from the missions, which I'm about to draw out right now. We get five missions, and these can be all kinds of different things. So we've got a couple of research missions here. These can be... Uh, if we are able to achieve these, we can use them to improve one of our different sections. Uh, we've got an expedition, which gives us experience tokens, these little guys here, and these can be used to upgrade our crew from the juniors that we start with to much more powerful mids, seniors, and potentially even leads, which are much better at their specific, um, their specific section or potentially specialists, which are wilds. Uh, not wilds exactly, but they can do multiple different things. Oh, pilots in here. Anyway. So we've got one expedition, a couple research missions. We've got uh, scavenge. This can give you an item. Um, items are one-time use, and they're also worth points as well. So the crystals here um, can let you uh, go on... Uh, what is this? We, we pay play the card, and then we can immediately boost one of our sections by three points. Um, so that'll help us, you know, with other missions. And it's worth points whether we use the item or not. And then lastly, we've got a distress call. This distress call can uh, add new crew. Normally, you don't actually add any crew cards in here. We got 12 cards, and we might end the game with 12 cards. But distress calls let you potentially uh, get a little bit more. So now we're going to take a look at each of our sections and we're going to figure out, you know, which cards we're going to play. Each, uh, sorry, you know, each player will draw five crew cards. And uh, I have these laid out, but the way that the game tends to work uh, when you're playing with, you know, more than just yourself is I'll, I'll look at each of my, all the crew cards that I drew. In this case, I drew some engineers, one mid-engineer and a junior, as well as two junior operators and a junior pilot. So... Not, you know, great stuff, but wasn't much opportunity for great stuff, beginning. And then I would take this screen. Each of us would take our screens and, you know, hide what we're doing. Because I'm playing by myself, I'm not going to be hiding these. I have to put them back and forth every time. Don't really want to do that. So 
I'm just leaving them out for now. But know that if you are playing this with other people, you would be hiding what you're doing. So you'd be playing your cards in secret until everyone has played and then you reveal at the same time, which is why the tiebreaker for uh, you know choosing cards is important. So we are looking at what is out here. And let's see, is there anything that we want? Well, I know, left brain talking, that I want to improve my science. Now, my science already starts at a plus two, because um, everything gets you know, some improvements, except for one of your sections, which won't be plus anything. So I could try and get this, um, this new alloy, this research project, which, if I get it and then flip it over, will permanently improve my science by one. And these numbers are telling you what the, uh, the value is that you're trying to reach. But on the first turn uh, of each round, the first planet or first location you visit, you're looking at the smaller numbers on the top. The, you only have five cards, so they're making it a little bit easier for you to do these missions. So in this case, I would need three science and three operators. Um, well, in my hand, I have no science. But we do start with two, and each of these... Uh, each of these engineers or pilots or, or whatever, these crew members, can be flipped around and turned into generic workers. And workers can be used as wilds. Now, let's say I took this mid and I made it a worker. Well, before it had two engineering, to uh, engineering symbols. Now, it only has one wild, uh, one, one worker icon. So, it's a bit of a downgrade, but it gives you some flexibility. But these juniors, they can kind of be, you know, uh, plugged in anywhere. So... Let's see what I want to do. If I want to get that new alloy, and I think I do, I think that would be a good thing for me to do. In getting early boosts like this, is, I think is always a, a good choice. So I, the way that I would have to do that, ooh, it would be a little tricky because this is requiring three science and three operators. Two science, I have zero operators. I do have these two junior operators that would be good for that. So I could play them in there. That would be two for that. I could play any of these people. Maybe I play this uh, junior engineer. I put him on the worker side to boost my research center. And then, because I don't want to spend a mid-engineer as a worker so much, I'm going to take this junior pilot and play them as a worker. Or, no, wait. Them as a worker on the crew quarters. There we go. So we've got three and three if we do that. And the, and the upside of that as well, I'm putting an extra point into science, which makes it more likely that I'm going to get to choose first, you know, trying to get... Uh, this card, because if I don't get that, well, I'm actually okay, because if I don't get that, this uh, crystals card only requires one science and three uh, operators, so I'll be able to get one or the other, no matter what. Um, now, I've got this mid-engineer, and while there isn't anything uh, that I, I mean, you can only get one card per turn anyway, so it's not like I'm going to get anything else, but I do see this expedition here, which will, will allow me to uh, gain experience tokens. And I know that I will get extra points if I complete two expeditions. So it's not something that I can do this turn, but if I put my mid-engineer in the engineering space, in the engine chamber, I'm putting some progress towards that. So I have that in mind. Um, now, right brain over here, let's, say, let's see what we've got. Three, four, five. We've got some cards. Okay, ooh, we've got a good amount of science, which is good because we have no science in our research center uh, innately. Uh, we've got three crew, three operators. So if we wanted to go for these, one of these two research, we don't even have to put anything into operators. We will automatically have enough for it. So maybe that's something we want to do. Um, you know what? This might be the case where right brain, yeah, I think I want that research as well. What do I need? Well, I need to go to the uh, this Arctic landing zone. I actually want to have strong command and strong operators. I know I already have that, so improving my command would be good. Unfortunately, the research here that improves command requires me to have four science. That would be not impossible, but not super easy either. I think I'm going to try and go for this uh, this research here. I think it's just going to be a good thing. It can give me a little bit of science, which I'm sorely lacking. So I would put my three points of science in there. I have three points of uh, operators too. And then I've got these three, and I don't know necessarily what I want to do with them, but I do know that I do want to improve my piloting ability. So I've got this junior pilot. I'm going to put it in the junior academy. Um, this top section up here, 
You can put up to three juniors in there, and at the end of the round, they will upgrade into mids. So they will basically double in strength. I could put both juniors in there, but I'm also seeing a lot, every single one of these cards requires some piloting ability on the second round. So I think maybe it'll be useful for me to put one in command just for future use. And then this last engineer, I don't know what I wanna do with it, but I also know that sometimes there's danger out here. So I'm actually gonna place it as a worker into my defense center. It's not gonna help me get any missions, but it will protect me from danger in future sectors in this round if they come up. And since I don't know where else to put them, I think that's a good, good spot. So once each uh, side has placed their cards, we would reveal. And again, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not hiding them because I'm playing against myself, but we would reveal and we would then check to see who has the most science for this location because that's what this location is asking for. Um, and because we're tied, we both have three science. We're gonna look at whoever has the most printed on their shipboard. So that's left brain. So left brain is gonna have first choice. Left brain is red. Right brain is right, is yellow. Uh, right, of course right brain is right. Uh, so we've placed them in turn order and now left brain has first pick. And yeah, we definitely wanna go for this research project. At the end of the turn, uh, we're going to place it, but I'll just place it right now uh, because I knew that I wanted to improve my science. So I'm just gonna place that right there so we know I've got an extra science every round. And then uh, on uh, right brain over here, well, okay, they did take what we were after. We know we can get these crystals. Is there anything else that we qualify for? No, we don't have enough science for the other research. We don't have enough engineering for these other ones. So we'll take the crystals. It's a decent constellation. It's gonna be worth a point. And we can use this to boost our uh, command or our engines um, in the future. Uh, sort of a one-time uh, one-time use ability. So I'm just gonna put that, uh, I'll put that over here. Say that we've gotten this, this card. And now uh, that's the end of the turn. So we're going to replace the empty slots with some new cards, another expedition, another research. Uh, and we are going to flip the next space tile. Uh-oh, this space tile has damage. So because there's damage, we check to see if anyone has defended. Now, right brain has, we put in a worker to defend. So it, this one's dealing one damage, we've got one worker, it's protecting it, one to one. Left brain, however, did not uh, put in any, any defenders in there. So we're gonna take one damage on the left side and uh, so to do that, we draw a card. Now these are always kind of the same. They are just going to be a minus one onto whichever system uh, that they get applied to. And this one is science. So unfortunately that uh, research that we got, well, that's gonna be just counteracted. I'm just gonna place that there to show that we you know, are not getting that anymore. So that unfortunately makes that last turn, uh, not useless because we can repair that damage, um, but it's gonna take a little while to do it. All right, so that was uh, revealing this new one. Okay, and this new one is looking for engineering strength. Um, and the crew that we've placed in the last turn, they are gonna stick around. So this one defender, they're gonna defend against the next sector as well. All of these other uh, players, they are still on our board. So even though Right Brain has fewer people out in different sections, they didn't get damaged and they have potent more potential for upgrades. Um, so let's see what we've got for the next round. Drawing five more cards. And left brain, here we go. I've got a lot of mids in this hand. That's feeling pretty good, especially after that uh, damage that I took. So what do I want here? I could go for another research, um, but I did want to go on an expedition. And both of these, hmm, well, we've got a couple expeditions here. Let's take a closer look. There's this one before. Now we're ignoring the top numbers, we're looking at the big bottom numbers. So we've got uh, a need for six engineering, four science, and four piloting. Well, I have three engineering at the moment. I've got uh, three science and three. So I'm, I'm down three, one, and one. And with my cards, well, I can easily get the science and the piloting. And then if I put all of these as workers, I can get exactly what I need for this expedition. Um, and I would have a lot of engineering, so that would be decent. What else is my options? Uh, okay, well, this other one, this research requires six science, four pilot, and two engineering. I, I would need three more science, which I've got in hand, and a pilot. I could definitely do that, and then I would have some people left over to protect against you know, further damage and maybe upgrade this junior. 
Um, but what about this other expedition? This one might be a little bit easier to get to. I could put maybe two people in engineering. If I put this one as a worker, then I'd have five engineering. I'd have this one would boost up my science. And I've already got people in crew. So I think this expedition would be pretty good to go for. Uh, what else is there? There's more research, and then there's, there's that distress call. I like the distress call, but I want to make sure I get these expeditions. I want I don't want them to pass me by. So my plan is putting in another junior engineer. So I'm at four. I need one more. So I'll put that worker there. You know, you know what? I'm actually gonna place my mid as a worker. It's a little less efficient, but the reason I'm doing that is because I want to upgrade my scientists. So I'm gonna send this scientist to the junior academy. And then I've got, I already have enough crew as is. Uh, I don't need any pilots for this. So I'm gonna take one of these. Let's say, well, it's not really gonna matter too much. I'm gonna take one of these and I'm gonna place them as a worker in my defense center so that, you know, if more damage comes in, I'm, you know, protected at least a little bit. And then this mid pilot, I'm gonna flip them over because I'm gonna to wanna to repair that damage. And, and I don't necessarily know what I want uh, her to go for. So I'm flipping her over and I'm placing her um, you know, beneath the, the damage section. Um, and that way I know that at the end of the round, they're gonna repair that damage. They don't apply any of their symbols though. So it's a bit of a trade off in that sense. Let's go over to right brain. One, two, three, four, five. I've got my five cards and ooh, a lot of operators, a lot of engineers. I'm already pretty good at those. So what am I gonna do with this? Well, let's see what, what I can apply for. There's a, there is a lot of need for engineering. So maybe I could put these two in. That would get me to five engineering, which would be good for this expedition. And then I'm at three science already. I already have three crew. So I don't mind placing these junior operators as as workers. I could put in another in the defense center. There are things that deal two and even three damage. So maybe I want to do that. I think I could probably afford to. Let's, so what am I going for? If I'm going for this expedition, then yeah, I want to put in these two. So I get up to five engineering. What can I do though? There's the question of whether or not I'm going to be locked into my choice because if I don't get it, well, am I in a am I putting myself in a dangerous position? Because unfortunately, very few of these cards care about crew quarters. Of course, I do need to keep in mind that I have these crystals and I can spend these to boost my command or my engines by three. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna keep these as a backup because Sure, I, you know, I, I want to get this expedition. Actually, I might want to get research. It's just that both these research are going to be a little difficult to get. I, for my place, I want to get a lead pilot and I want to get a research. But lead pilots, the way to get that is through expeditions. Uh, you need to get experience to level people up. So I definitely want to get an exp expedition. I've decided. That's what I'm doing. I'm choosing. Um, I... I'm gonna put another junior operator into defense. I could put a junior operator into my junior academy and get them up to a mid. That's good not only because they're stronger, but also because mids are worth a point and juniors aren't worth anything. So I could do that, but part of me is worrying that left brain's going for the same thing. We had that in the last round. Um, if they're going for the same thing, well, I would tie break with them if they have exactly enough, but maybe I want to put one more into engineering just to be sure. You know, I, I just want to make sure that I'm able to get it. Uh, where am I at currently? Six, we've got three in science, so I need one more. Okay, so I'll just put that last worker. I could put them in the junior academy, but I'm going to put them into research so that I can actually hold on to my, well, actually, this doesn't give me science anyway, so I'm going to need this. Yeah. This is, where I've, this is where I've set it at. So I have six engineering, five research, four research, I should say, three operators and two pilots, which will be enough for this expedition. Uh, and then we would reveal. And uh, first off again, looking at who has the most engineering, and this time it's right brain. So they are gonna be first. 
We get first pick. Well, we had our eye on this expedition, so let's grab it. Now, ooh, here's the thing. These expeditions are not the same. This expedition here this is only going to give me one experience, whereas this one is going to give me two. So I can upgrade two people, or I can upgrade someone twice. So maybe it's time to spend my crystals, because I don't have enough command for this one, but I do have enough science, and I do have enough engineering. So I'm going to spend my, yeah, I'm going to spend my crystals. I'll just flip this over, but I am still going to get the point for this at the end of the round. I flip this over. I give myself the extra three command, which gets me up to five, which is enough for this expedition. So I'm going to take this card. Again, I can just flip that over, and I get uh, two experience points for that expedition. Um, whereas the other expedition, only going to get you one. Now, left brain, I don't love that they're getting two experience, but they almost took the one that I wanted. Um, oh, wait a minute. I can't, I can't afford this. Is that the one I was going for? It must not have been because I can't get this because I don't have enough science. I only have three science. Uh oh, what can I do? Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh, Folks, I have made a mistake. Now, let's see, what, was I able to get this one? Mmm, I wasn't even able to get this one. So I have currently put myself into a position where I actually can't get anything. I have five engineering, which is you know good for all of these. Uh, I've only got three science, which would only work for this distress call, but I only have three pilots, which is not enough for that. Now, I... If I was, you know, just playing one player, I probably wouldn't have made that mistake, and I would have uh, done things correctly. But let's say, let's just live with it. Let's live with that mistake that I've made. I don't get anything, unfortunately. I have made a mistake, and now I don't get any cards. And we got to go to the next round. So, next round, uh, flipping over a new round tile, and this is dealing two damage. Okay, well, again, right brain has put out uh, one defense. Uh, or has two defense now. Left brain has one defense, but again, gonna take another damage, and this is another science damage. So we're back down to two uh, for our science. We get one more card out here. Uh, some more crystals. Um, looks like this is the same one that we had. Sometimes these can do different... Oh no, this one's command or... Yeah, it's commander engine, so it's the same, same item that we got. There are a few repeats in here, but there's a lot of different stuff as well. Um, and now we're gonna try and get something else with the last two cards. Now we have 12 cards in our deck, which means the last round, we're only drawing two more. And am I gonna make the same mistake? Well, I only have three science, so I need to put someone in science. Oh yeah, and this new place, looking for engineering once again. So I'm absolutely gonna put this, uh, this person in science. So we're gonna have three science there. And I've got this pilot, uh, which is gonna get me four. Now, looking at what, what is on, out here, the only thing I'm going to be able to get, I think, are the crystals. Because I have three research, and the only thing that can get me is these two, but I don't have enough pilots for this. I could boost my... Okay. So, the question is, what am I going to do with this pilot? I could... Uh, place them into the Junior Academy, leveling them up next round. Uh, there's no reason for me to put them in the Defense Center. I could put them in Command, which is useless at this point. Um, or I could flip them to a Worker, and I could place them in Research, try and get this Expedition. I know I want to get Expeditions for my uh, Landing Zone, um, and, but if I do that, then that's the only thing I can get. If I place them into uh, Operators, into the Crew Quarters, then I will be able to scavenge crystals instead. Now, at this point, I wouldn't know, you know, where my opponent's going. But they, they wanted to go to an expedition last time. It's reasonable to think they might want to go to an expedition again. And I know that I'm not going to be able to beat them for a tiebreaker for the engine chamber. So maybe what's best for me is to actually scavenge the crystals. So I'm going to place this worker into crew quarters uh, because I think that that is just it, it's I need to hedge my bets a little bit because I think I'm trying to be left brain here I'm trying to think what they're gonna do you know I think if they're going for expeditions then there's no reason they wouldn't go for this one 
they already have what they need for it. So, and, and they're gonna fight me on it, or, or they might just take it from me so that I don't get anything again. I need to go for something that I don't think that they want as much. Um, they could still do it, but I think there's gonna be less incentive. So passing it over to right brain, I am looking at it. I've got my mid pilot, I've got junior scientist. I think I might wanna upgrade the scientist, but let's see what I can get. Um, I'm, I'm kind of looking at the research because I do, I want to get research. Uh, whether, whatever left brain thinks, I actually want to get research. I've only got four people in science and I would need at least one more. So I would have to either put the junior scientist in or the mid pilot as a worker. But if I want to get this, if I want to get these electronics and I think I do because it's going to improve my piloting. Um, I think I'm going to go mid pilot in there because that's going to get me up to four, which is what I need. And then I'm gonna go junior scientist in here. That gets me up to six. Still, I'm only upgrading one. I would have really liked to upgrade more than one of my juniors, but this is gonna get me uh, some research, which is points and improved systems. So I think that's gonna be worth it. Uh, so we reveal, we look at who has the most engineering. Uh, again, that's gonna be right brain. So same order. Uh, and then uh, uh, don't worry, right brain, we're not taking the thing you want, you think we're gonna take. Instead, we're gonna take this research. And even though we could also take this, or at least we qualify for it, we can't take two missions in the same turn. So we're choosing the electronics research and we're gonna keep it on the piloting side. And now going to left brain, it's like, well, all right, I, I wanted the expedition more, but I, I made my choice and I'm okay with it. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna take this uh, crystals, take these crystals, these are gonna help me in the future, hopefully. So uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, and then that is the end of the round. A few things happen at the end of the round. So we're gonna pack up all of the level one stuff. Uh, we're eventually gonna put out another space tile, but not, not yet. Uh, same thing with these other cards. Uh, but first, we, are, we get to promote our juniors and we have any end of round stuff. So in that case, one of my crew is going to repair one of the damage. So one of these damages goes away, but we do still have the other one, which is unfortunately still uh, blocking my, my research, which I don't appreciate. Uh, and we get our juniors, uh, we upgrade our juniors. So my junior scientist here becomes a mid scientist. Uh, and that's just gonna go into my deck for the next round. Uh, and then everyone we put into the defense and everyone we put into all the other sections, they are going to go back and uh, we shuffle all these up and we're gonna start the next round. So we've got that on the left side. What do we do on the right side? Kind of the same thing. We did upgrade one of our pilots. So we've got this junior pilot becomes a mid pilot that joins our crew. Uh, but also we have these uh, experience points and we're gonna spend them to upgrade. So now we get to choose who we wanna upgrade. Each crew member uh, can upgrade once for one experience. So who do I want to upgrade? Well, I know that I wanna have a lead pilot and that's the highest level pilot. So I'm gonna take one of my mids, I'm gonna spend, ooh, I could spend both to just immediately get them to lead. And then, you know, I've, uh, I've just sort of set that in, I've locked it in, it's what I need to do or I could try and spread things out a little bit, but because I know I wanna have a really strong um, really strong pilot, and I don't know for sure that I'm gonna be able to get another expedition, I'm gonna spend both of these on upgrading single mid all the way up to a lead pilot. So by the way, there are only two lead pilots in this deck. Uh, so if I get this one, you know, they're not going to, uh, if I get another one, left brain can't get that. Uh, one thing I also want to show off is that, that I really like, this is kind of an aside, but like all of these people, when they're, when they're on their, on their um, normal side, like they're in command, this is uh, what he's doing. But then when you put them to work, it's like, oh, okay, I guess I'm slinging soup and I'm mad about it because I'm not, this is not what I'm trained for. And all of the cards are like that. They all, you know, kind of know what they're doing. Even the juniors is like, I kind of know what I'm doing. And then when you flip them over, it's like, oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it's just a nice little touch that I wanted to show off. Uh, so that's what I've got going on. I am going to flip it over 
And then we would keep going like this. We've got uh, round two and, and uh, the round two cards and then the round three cards as well are more powerful. So we'd flip out some new cards over here. Um, one thing we've just seen that came up is a maintenance card. These are worth points, but they also repair damage. So left brain would be looking at this. We'd be looking at these cards, at this maintenance card, because you know, we still got this one damage and I don't necessarily want to put crew towards fixing it. Although this does require operators, which don't really have a lot of. And then of course, we've still got expeditions. We've got more distress calls. We've got more items to scavenge, more research. In this case, we've got a cool robot arm that we can get. Um, and we'll improve our pilots or our operators, depending on how we do. And we would just kind of keep going like that. We're gonna keep going like that for the rest of the, uh, the second and third round. And we flip this over. Oh, asteroid field. So this has three damage, the only tile in the game that does that much damage. But again, first tile, you ignore the damage, so you don't have to worry about that. And we would try and go uh, you know, until the end. Once we finish the last round, uh, we would have uh, the final mission. And this is each of us trying to reach our landing zones. And uh, a couple things happen. Uh, you still don't, you don't clear your board. In fact, if you have any extra cards, because by then maybe you've gotten enough new crew members. If you go to distress calls, you can, like a level two distress call, will get you a senior of a specific type, or you can get a junior and a mid of your choice to add to your deck. So it's possible that you're gonna have more than 15 cards in here by the end of it. Uh, you'll get all of your all of your crew out, but everything that you've placed in the last round stays where it is, unless you upgrade it. Any any upgrades, any time that you upgrade a crew at the end of the third round, you can then move it around to a different section, um, which will be good if you've got something specific that you need to get to. Now, in my experience, I've found that these are generally not like a cakewalk to get to, but you're usually going to be able to at least land on the planet, but also being able to get uh, the extra points, not a guarantee. Um, but yeah, that's that's how I would go through this game. We'd keep on going to the last one, then we'd try to land, and and then once we land, everyone who did land counts up the points and we see who won. Uh, and that's how the game would go. But if you wanna hear my final thoughts on the game, you can do so by clicking the link in the top right corner or in the show notes below, and I will see you folks there in three, two, one. Bye-bye.